a huge in-state weekend for the Texas Longhorns. We're going to head out to Austin where the number one wide receiver in America, DeCorey Moore, spent his weekend. There was also some other big names. Let's start it, get it started with Justin Wells from inside Texas. But first, Texas fans, do me a favor. Hit subscribe to the On3 Recruit channel. We're here talking Horns recruiting all offseason long. Go ahead, jump on board, hit subscribe for me, please. All right, let's bring on Justin Wells from inside Texas. Now, I want to get your thoughts on DeCorian more because heading in, we know he was trending to Texas as everything's been trending in the horns way since he decommitted from LSU, but he took a photo over the weekend. Now, I'm Trey, throw this photo up here and it looks to me, I mean, it, it, you couldn't have more family members in here. This looks to me like possibly a commitment photo. I, I know it's probably not a commitment photo, but this looks like a commitment photo. What are we hearing about DeCorian Moore's visit to Texas? Well, as we record, DeCorian is on a flight back home right now okay. to, to Duncanville with his mother and, and family. Um, it was a family affair. It, 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 I'll say this. If there was a family reunion, everybody got invited <laughs> because the Moors were running deep on the 40 acres Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, I got to catch up with a little bit of the family during the weekend right before they left. I don't think Texas could have done any more anymore. It was they couldn't have done it any bigger, any better. Yeah. Uh, you know, they, they just they just laid it all out for Decorian. You know, his host was Colin Simmons, who is one of his biggest recruiters, former teammate at Duncanville. But he didn't want just one host. He wanted to hang mm. out with this freshman wide receiver named Ryan Wingo. And so Wingo co-hosted and, and took him around everywhere and, and even had dinner with the family last night. And, and I like that because one, he knows Colin, but he can ask Ryan a lot of important questions like how did you make an impact as a freshman early enrollee? You know, how did you how did you do what you did? And to me, that's a big, big key. That's a big sign. Um, Texas, Texas knocked this out of the park. I, I think Texas has had a commanding lead in this recruitment for the longest. I feel like they have only uh, Clint. I wouldn't say clinched it because Oregon's going to come with, with the big guns. But Texas did everything they possibly could to ensure to Corey and Moore that he is more than welcome on the 40 acres. He is more than a fit. He's got family in Austin. He's got teammates on the team. He will be catching passes from Arch Banning, Trey Owens, and potentially KJ Lacey. Um, everything lines up burn orange for this kid. Like I said, he's still going to Oregon next weekend, Josh. But after that, I think we're going to see a decision relatively soon. I don't think this thing is going to stretch out. He had mentioned to us a couple months ago that it could go into August, you know, right before the beginning of his senior year. After talking to his mother a couple of days ago, I, I think this thing might actually happen sooner than later. I, I'm thinking mm -hmm. sometime in July. Texas, they set the pace from the start, and I don't think there's going to be another official visit that matches it. Yeah, and I, I, I agree. And I think it's going to be really hard to say no to Oregon. It's going to be really hard to say no to Ohio State for DeCorey Moore. But it just seems like things are lining up. Uh, how much is Arch Manning involved in this recruitment? Was he mentioned at all during the weekend? Inside Scoop viewers, listen up. Whether you're a seasoned gym goer or just starting your fitness journey, FitBod is essential for your workout. It's a fitness app that customizes each workout based on your goals and adapts them as you improve. The app is great for me because I kind of go in my workouts in spurts, right? Sometimes I'm into it. Sometimes I'm not as into it as I probably should be. But the FitBot app helps keep my consistency up. It makes my workouts more efficient. I actually spend less time in the gym now than I did before because I use the app. It's been great at keeping me focused, giving me a better workout each time. I also like how it keeps your, quote, gym streak updated, which keeps me motivated. It holds me accountable. Most importantly, I never stand around in the gym looking dumb anymore, wondering what I should do next. FitBot has it all figured out. Whether you work out in a fancy gym or you're at home in your garage, FitBot can help you get better each workout. It's like a personal trainer, but better. It's cheaper and easier to use as a custom fitness plan that works for you. Add FitBod to your workout essentials. Here's what we're going to do. Join FitBod today. Get your personalized workout plan. Get 25% off your subscription or try the app for free at fitbod.me forward slash inside scoop. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash inside scoop. Uh, just a little bit, just, I mean, I mean, you know, Arch, the biggest thing Arch did was, was quote tweet him on inside on, on Instagram, you know, put out a thing because Arch knows who he wants to throw to, mm -hmm. you know, our Arch is talking to these kids. He was big with the Ryan Wingo recruitment. He was, he, and he's going to be helpful with the Corian. 
Uh, you know, he I think he had late duty this weekend. And then I think he's going to be helping out with KJ Lacey next weekend. But Arch is involved simply because Arch, these are the guys he's going to throw to. He wants to get to know these guys. And from to talking to some of these recruits before, Arch Manning doesn't pressure him. He just gets to know them. He thinks, okay, if this guy is going to be on campus, I got to have a relationship with him. Might as well set the foundation now. And Arch doesn't really push these kids. He just wants to build relationships with them. He wants to talk to them. And so he, he's involved, but I wouldn't say to a, a, a high degree. I think a lot of this is, is Coach Jackson, Stark, Chris Gilbert, Jeff Banks, Colin Simmons, and all the family that happen to be in Austin right down the road. I think those are the biggest factors. All right. Now let's talk about borderline five-star linebacker Riley Pettijon. Could be a five-star by the time this thing's over. Uh, Riley <laughs> Pettijon, he was on campus, and he's been trending to Texas, but he's been taking visits all over the place. What did you learn about Riley Pettijon in Texas coming out of this one? Yeah, he's been thorough. And understand, his dad, Duke Pettijon, played at Syracuse. And right. so he has an idea of the recruiting process and things that he's going through. I think Riley's just being thorough. I think Riley has wanted to go to Texas since spring. I think that they've been his number one choice for a long time, but he still wants to take these trips to make sure he's getting great advice from his dad. They've got a great staff at McKinney. And I think another big factor is Elijah Barnes uh, from Skyline. He jumped in. He's the other linebacker in DFW that Texas is really high on him and Pettijon. Barnes already jumped in kind of out of nowhere. I think Riley's is going to be a little bit more timely. I think he had probably put out a, a date of when he wants to make an announcement, and I think this is going to be in July. I don't think this thing is going to drag into August. A lot of these players have been telling us, hey, August, right before the beginning of my senior year, and then you talk to them after taking three or four official visits, and all of a sudden it's, man, if I know what I know, I'm going to do this next month, or I'm going to do this in a couple weeks, or I'm about to do this pretty quick. I think Riley's in that – area right now and so I, I think texas is still separating from the pack i believe he's supposed to be at texas a&m next weekend but also know that i don't think his mother is is going with him and if that's not a tell and a sign i don't know what is all right now texas had one out of the three big three in texas because the big three in texas consists of lamont rogers michael fasusi and ty haywood and right now it looks like fasusi maybe a lean toward texas ty haywood maybe a lean toward ou or maybe even alabama but lamont rogers he's he's leaning out of state towards mizzou uh after this visit though how do you feel about texas and lamont rogers i, I feel the same because I, I know you don't turn down a kid with his upside. I mean, he's he's a big three, like you said, for a reason. Right. Huge athlete, so much upside. I, I think, though, there's some inconsistencies in his recruitment to where Texas is putting more, I would say more focus. They would take him, but if he does go to Missouri or if he does commit to Texas A&M, and I do think those are his top two schools, I don't think Texas is going to lose sleep. Lamont is a great prospect. But there are things in that recruitment where mm -hmm. if they don't go all in, I'm not going to be surprised. Uh, there, there, there's, there's, there's just so many different things with Rogers' recruitment right now. Again, he's a, he's a surefire take on upside alone. But I think Texas is being very judicious with okay. who they bring into the culture. And I, I love where they're at right now with offensive tackle out of San Francisco, John Mills, who just finished up. His, his official visit, I think he's a take, and I think he's a guy that you could see jump in the boat relatively soon. Mm -hmm. So, with, And that would leave one more spot for Michael Fasusi, the, the bona fide five-star offensive tackle out of Louisville. So I, I think it's still status quo with Rodgers. Would they take him? I do believe so. Are they going to push to the to the brink? I don't believe that. I think Missouri and A&M are way more into that one than Texas. Well, it's good to have options on that offensive line, and it sounds like Texas's O-line board is deep and talented. All right, this weekend, though, it was all about number one wide receiver DeCorian Moore. So, Texas fans, let me know, comment section below, how we feeling about DeCorian Moore. Do you guys think – look at this picture. Look at this picture. Do you guys think he commit? I mean, this looks like a commitment photo. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know, comment section below. Well, you've made it to the end of today's video, but there's hundreds more videos on the On3 Recruits channel for you to check out. And also, while you're here, hit subscribe.